All right, thanks for watching. And before you're like shocked that I've already done this, yes, I've already made a video on the integral of e of minus x squared dx, but that video was originally on Black Pen's Red Pen's channel, but he asked me if I could do it in a, you know, I could just redo it. You know, like Disney has this digitally remastered videos and I want to take all the videos I've done on Black Pen, Red Pen's channel and, you know, re-digitally remaster them. Maybe in a better voice too. Oh, okay. So, we want to evaluate this integral, which is impossible to evaluate, yet using multivariable calculus we can do this using a very neat trick. So step one, let i be the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus x squared dx. And notice, it doesn't matter which variable name we use. So we also have, indeed, that i is the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus y squared dy. And now the nice thing is we can multiply them out. So let's multiply them. So i squared, which is i times i. Well, that's integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus x squared dx times integral of minus infinity to infinity e of minus y squared dy. And here's the nice thing. This becomes a constant with respect to y. And so we can sort of pull this integral inside. And it's sort of the dual version of just pull the constant outside the integral. Here we want to do the reverse. And this integral then just turns out to be integral from minus infinity to infinity integral of minus infinity to infinity of e of minus x squared, e of minus y squared, technically dy dx, but because of our friend Fubini, we can interchange those and we get dx dy. It's -a me, Fubini. So, <laughs> I can't stop saying that. And then it turns out this integral simplifies quite nicely because then we get i squared, that's integral from minus infinity to infinity, integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus x squared plus y squared, dx dy. And well, in multivariable calculus, whenever you see x squared plus y squared, it just calls for a polar coordinate party. So, let's use polar coordinates to evaluate this. And notice if we have x and y, the integral from minus infinity to infinity, minus infinity to infinity, it's really all the things. And what we want to do is to convert them into you know, radii and angles. And in this case, notice that r itself, it goes from 0 to infinity. And the angle theta, it just circles around once. So it goes from 0 to 2 pi. And you're left with e of minus r squared. And then some other junk, which is r d r d theta. And in case you're curious where this R comes from, make sure to check out one of my other videos on my channel where I explain where this comes from. It's from a Jacobian. And the nice thing is, once you have that, you can just simply anti-differentiate this. And it's very important, before you couldn't do that, but now with multivariable calculus we can. And so this just becomes e of minus r squared. If you differentiate this, you have this nasty factor of minus 2, but let's just divide it by it. And that's from r equals to 0 to r equals to infinity. 
d theta, and you're left with integral from 0 to 2 pi, e of minus infinity over minus 2, I guess minus e of 0 over minus 2, d theta. Now, e of minus infinity, well, it just goes to 0. So this whole thing, bang, bang, goes to 0. And so, we are really left with, so minus minus 2 is like minus 1 half, I guess, in this case. And so integral from 0 to 2 pi of, I guess, 1 half in the end, d theta. And this, we can just evaluate this. It's a constant, so 1 half times 2 pi minus 0. And so we get pi, the most delicious constant. <laughs> OK, but what is pi? OK, <laughs> what is love? <laughs> so step, oh, I already forgot, but I guess step 3, just say that. What we found is that i squared equals to pi where again, i was integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus x squared dx. And now notice, the question is, is it square root of pi or minus square root of pi? But this function is positive, so the integral has to be positive. And therefore, i just becomes square root of pi. And so this whole integral, which was impossible to calculate, is just square root of pi. And you might say, oh my god, this is madness. No, it's not madness. It's multivariable calculus. All right, so if you really like that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. And we can go home happy. Thank you.